Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we are going to answer the exam of uh, June 2022. Uh, this exam starts with uh, questions on the first chapter. As you can see, here we have the diagram shows the electronic configuration of an atom of an element. And as you can see here at the middle, we have the nucleus. And then we have the first energy level. There is There are two electrons followed by eight electrons in the second energy level and third energy level, we have only one electron. So the first question of this exam says, name the part of the atom that contains uh, the protons and the neutrons. As you can see uh, over here, this is what we call nucleus and nucleus contains the protons and neutrons. So the answer should be nucleus. The second question they say give the number of protons in this atom so in order to know the number of proton he mentioned first of all the word atom so the word atom means that we have the same number of electrons to the number of protons so now we need to count the number of electrons that we have we have the first energy level two second energy level we have eight electron and third energy level we have an electron so overall we have 11 electrons and because he said atom so the atom has an equal number of proton to the number of electron so we can also use the same information to answer this question and the number of proton should be 11 as well third question says give the number of groups of the group that contains this element in order to know the group the number of group we need to look at the electronic configuration the electronic configuration has one electron in the last energy level. So this means that this is found in group one. But there is another information that we can also obtain from the electronic configuration of this element, which is counting the number of energy levels. Here we have three energy levels. So this means that this element also is found in period number, exactly period two. So it's a group one because it has one electron in the last energy level and it's period, sorry, period three because it is uh, containing three different energy levels. So it's period three and group one. So going back to the same question, give the number of the group that contains this element, it is found in group one. Then the next question, give the number of the period that contains this element as we mentioned we have three energy levels so we need to write three because the number of energy levels indicate the number of periods then last question of this uh, part they say give the charge of the ion formed from this atom let's go back to the electronic configuration as you can see from this electronic configuration we can see it has one electron in the last energy level. This means that this, ele this element is a metal because it has one electron in the last energy level. As you can see, metals tend to lose the electron. So they lose the electron and they change into, they lose one electron, which is found in the last energy level, and they change into a positive ion. So this positive ion, as you can see, here we're going to have number of protons will remain as it is 11 and number of electron after the loss it will be 10 so we have one more protons than the electron so this should be positive one so the ion should be a positive one and most or all the metals as you know tend to lose the electrons in the last energy level to reach to the nearest electronic configuration of a noble gas and in this case, the noble gas configuration would be a neon, which has two, eight in the last energy level. So going back to the question, give the charge on the ion formed for this atom, the charge should be positive one. Here we can see that we have finished the question one. Inshallah, I'm going to make different videos. Each video will take uh, one question of each exam paper. So this is the first video of this exam paper. Stay tuned for the other videos as well. See you.